What happens when you take up the carpet? Well, you've got these tax strips that go around the perimeter of the room. And too oftentimes, people take a flat bar and a hammer and they put that flat bar underneath the edge and they try to pop all these tax strips up. But you end up damaging the floor. And uh, I don't really want to do that because right now we're getting ready to uh, repaint our house and we're taking up all our carpet. And underneath that carpet, we have these beautiful terrazzo floors. Imagine if I were to break up all these tack strips and have to come back and patch all the holes that these tack strips would leave. Now, what I'm going to do after I do this and I get all the painting done is I'm going to buff this floor out and then we'll put rugs throughout the house. It's going to look a whole lot better than uh, dealing with dusty old carpets throughout our house. And by the way, these floors are over 50 years old. Here's what the tack strips look like. You see them. And uh, what happens, like I said in the introduction, is the most time people want to take a flat bar where these uh, little nails go down in through the tack strips into the concrete. In this case, this is terrazzo. And they'll take the hammer and they will beat it up. And what happens is you actually break away the surface of the concrete or the terrazzo. And once you do that, then you have little pock marks in your in your floor or your concrete that looks like this, that you're gonna to have to go back in and patch. In this case, I would have to find some filament to sort of match the terrazzo. The tools I'm gonna to be using right now, it's a uh, Makita lithium cordless multi-tool. And these cost you about $100 at your local, or you can buy them on Amazon or to Home Depot. Uh, also, to let you know, these blades are very expensive. They run about $30 for three of them. And I'm going to be using a Dremel with a uh, carbon fiber blade uh, to uh, cut the nails. And so for the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how I set it up and how I cut these uh, nails. We start out by uh, stepping up to it, and you can see where I'm coming in here with the blade. I put that blade right alongside the edge of the nail. And I will tell you, you need to wear your safety glasses and possibly hearing protection because it does get a little loud. And each nail, I, come, I make a cut on either side of those tacks that are going down in through the, uh, the tack strip. Uh, you do that every uh, alongside every nail. Once you get those uh, tack strips cut, cut through. Uh, I like to go under them with the, with a putty knife. You see I'm reaching in there with my fingers. You got to be really careful because those tack strips will definitely take a chunk of hide out of you. As you can see, uh, the nails are left, the tacks that are left there, uh, I can easily take some of the wood away. You may want to use a putty knife uh, so you don't get your hands uh, down in there too close. The next tool I'm going to take is I'm going to be taking my Dremel alongside as soon as I get all the tack strips up there and you can see the heads of the nail the tacks that are sticking up and I'm going to take that Dremel tool with the fiber blade and I'm going to put the closest to the edge of the floor as I possibly can get and again you need to be wearing some safety glasses when you do this because if you get one of those sparks that bounce off the uh, the base trim or off the floor uh, you're you're going to be in some sort of pain but it's really neat to uh, watch all these sparks come off. It almost makes you look like you're working in some industrial shop, uh, being a real factory worker or a machinist out there. Uh, once you do that, you go along here and you can take the edge of that, uh, that blade and you can smooth it down. Now, I've got several grinding tools where I'm going to be able to take it all the way down to floor level. But once you're finished with cutting all the heads off, this is what you've got left over. You can't see where the nails are or you're not going to leave any pock marks. That's it. And if you've got any questions of me, contact me at martinback.com.